Hello Elites and welcome back to Minecraft Elite vs. Wild. This is episode 135 and in this episode we're going to be building another store. But here I am in this club downtown where people can turn the fuck up. And we're going to go ahead and leave the, the club real quick and go back out into the underground mall. It's starting to look a little bit more full now that there's more stores and stuff. In this episode we're going to be building right here on this plot right here. This is going to be the potion shop. It's probably going to be this long. I think I'm going to start it right here. I think I might go to the end. That's going to be a really long store. And there's, um, so yes, we're going to be building the store. And it's going to be, as you can see in the title, a potion store. So let's say, um, a witch tenant has enough money to move in her own store. We're going to make this out of polished granite, by the way. Because polished granite looks better. Let's say a witch tenant moves in and her name is going to be Griselda. That's at the top of my mind right there. Some random ass witch. I don't know. I, I was trying to think of a name. Okay. Griselda. G-R-I-S-E-L-D-A. <laughs> Bitch. B-I-C-T-H. <laughs> That's how I sound. Alright. But yes, we're going to be building her nice house store. Potions and shit. She's going to have an expensive store too. Buying one potion. Say like a potion of speed for like... How, what's the shortest one? Was it like 16 seconds or something like that in Minecraft? I think. Uh, 16 seconds? I think it's 16. Is it? Or is it 30? Something like that. Let's say that'll cost like... Okay, with my currency in the world, if you don't know it yet... Um, an iron ingot's ten dollars, um, gold ingot's fifty, a diamond's a hundred, an emerald's two hundred, um, a prismarine shard is one thousand, and then a prismarine, the crystal, like the whole fucking thing, is like five thousand. So I, let's say it's like five thousand dollars a potion. So she is an expensive hoe. So Griselda, you know business. <laughs> well, there's like millionaires who live in the city, and that's like. Most of the people who live here anyway, so it's like, you know. Easy. Easy for them to buy. It's like handing over a five. We're gonna go ahead and do the ceiling here. And then we're gonna do that across. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we gonna make this floor out of? Let's make her floor out of... I want, I don't want her to look very witchy. I want her to look, like, sophisticated. Like, she knows what the hell she's doing in the city. She knows she left her little witch hut in the swamp. To come over here and make millions of dollars from millionaires. She knows she wants to rip them off. You know, the, th the trick of business, and I don't know if this is um, like professional or if this is like true, but like what I think is the trick of business is if you know that your um, demographic of people that you're selling to is going to be rich people or at least people who make lots of money a day and who has like a, a, light, a nice wage, you know selling your shit for expensive, what, like two times, three times more expensive than it should be, <laughs> that's all these. <laughs> um, you're going to make lots of money, basically. Like, you know if they make like $18 an hour, go ahead and take advantage of that, you know? That's business. Charge $10 a dish. That makes sense. Because um, then that's your only demographic, not the people who are like, oh, I got $2 in dust. Like, here you go. I'm like, no, bitch, you need three more dollars in dust, <laughs> and the tissue, and a penny, and a chip. <laughs> Ten points if you know where that's from. <laughs> the tissue, penny, and a chip, bitch. Tell me if you know where that's from, if you're a true 90s kid. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and then continue doing this. I like doing the outside of stores, making them look nice. See, look at this. Griselda has the hookup. I gave her the best plot underground. This hoe better pay me. I'm gonna make her tenant um, monthly like pay or whatever for like vendor fee every month. I'm gonna make that shit like, <laughs> bitch, you owe me $150,000 a month. And she probably makes like $750,000 like easy because people need potions, you know? They need potions like they need drugs because that's what it is. Um, in my storyline of Minecraft, in my, in my, you know, world, a potion is a drug. A potion is a drug, basically, like speed drug. <laughs> and shit like that. So we're carving out this building. It's looking pretty nice far nice so far. It's very basic. I want it I really hope I hit a, like a little cave or like a little pocket behind this area. I hope I hit something nice. So it can kinda give me like um an idea for a better design. Cause right now it's just a really blocky room except for that wall to my left. Where am I hearing these zombies? Do you hear that? There's zombies. Zombosis says, where are you? Are they inside the buildings? I'm not very close to a certain building, so it's kind of like, it's not coming from anywhere specific. It's like coming from somewhere 
close by. You hear that? They're like, <sighs> whatever sound they make. I don't know what sound they make. <laughs> Who made the zombie noise for Minecraft? Fucking, they must be good at gurgling noises at their throat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a split on a dick, but I can suck a dick. <laughs> That's what they are. All right, I think maybe they're under here. Is there a cave under here? All right, I'm going to stop digging down. Wait, is that a cave? No, okay, that's not a cave. Anyways, I'm going to stop digging down, and I'm going to keep going back up here. Um, ooh, their floor should be under end stone. Um, well, there's a zombie, but he's a zombie villager. I bet you that's a zombie villager who's walking around like a dumbass and got bit by a zombie. Stupid ass. All right. All right, nothing in the stores, right? Nothing in the whole registration office. Nothing in the bar. Uh, where the hell is a zombie noise coming from? It's going to drive me crazy. I keep hearing them just go, <laughs> or whatever sound they make. It's annoying. Well, whatever. We're just going to keep building, and if I hear those damn zombies, I'm going to kill them. They're, look. You hear them? What the fuck? Oh, they fucking wanted those fucking bangs. What the fuck? <laughs> All they fucking wanted is to build a star. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and do the ceiling now, because the ceiling can't be dirt. Griselda is not dirt poor. With her magic, she could literally poof in some coins if she wanted. I don't know why, but, you know, with magic, you can do anything you want. Okay. I'm not going to remove those um, glowstones right there, because I think if I'm right, this is... Yeah, that's a um, pond of water. So, if I do that, <laughs> she's going to have a leak in her roof. <laughs> oh, my lord. The roof turned her off. <laughs> so, we're going to change this to sea lantern. Yeah. Young sea lanterns of the future of 2087. Mm! <laughs> and we gotta make this the future. Hold on. This is gonna be stone, right? Yes, stone. Give me stone. There we go, and andesite. There we go. Zombies, if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Zombies are pissing me off. They're annoying. Do you hear them? They're growling. I bet you they're like right behind this wall or something. Or like, uh, hold on, let me check this damn theater. I bet you they're in the theater because the theater is very dark. There's there's room in them, room in there for them to make noise. Hold on, why is there a hole in my theater? <laughs> oh my lord, the theater has a hole. <laughs> you shot a second hair from me. <laughs> I can't even say it that fast. All right, so let's repair this because I don't know who the hell did this. It's probably like Josh or like Luis. Or somebody who played on my world once and was like, dude, this is cool. And then, like, fucking flew around and destroyed shit. And I probably saved it. So, that's probably why there's a hole in my theater. Look, there's a hole in the wall over there, too. God damn, I'll fix that later. Don't let me forget that. You better comment and tell me not to forget that, okay? There's a hole in my theater. <laughs> Somebody punched a hole. Alright. Where the hell's fucking zombies? <laughs> I should be building, not dealing with zombies. God damn it. Alright, whatever. Um, Let's just fill in this glass. And, uh, oh, I spit on my computer. <laughs> people, people, please. <laughs> All right. We're going to stop that. Maybe they're in the prostitution area. Are you prostitute zombies? Nope, they're not. That's not possible because the prostitution area is way at the bottom. It's literally near bedrock. So that's not possible. Okay, whatever. Let's just get back to work. And uh, maybe we'll just keep building and punch through a hole in the wall. And, you know, actually, no, 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 no. Keep building. If we find them, we find them. So this wall right here, the thing is, this is another plot of land where I'm going to build another store. And they're going to share a wall. So we're going to go ahead and make this wall whatever Griselda wants the wall to be, which is going to be um, unpolished uh, granite. But the next store that gets built right next to this, I want them to be butted up right next to each other. So they're going to have, they're not going to share the same wall. They're going to have two separate walls. So that way it's a too thick wall. You know what? You understand what I'm saying? Builders will know. Builders will understand. Um, those of you explorers and miners in Minecraft, I don't think he'll do that much. But, you know, if you build a lot. Look, do you, they sound so close. I heard it go, brrrr. Look, I found them. Oh, my Lord. Kill them. Kill them. Off with their heads. Do it. Do it. Do the roar. <laughs> Kill their head. Kill them. Kill them with the rod of the blade, beach. All right, you are dead. You know what? They were literally in a pocket in the wall. Wow. You know what? Let's just block this off, and this was never here. There we go. Griselda has peace in her store now. Now it's not loud as hell. Hold on. I just thought of an idea. You know what we could do? Give me this door right here. Where is it? Right here? Oh, shoot. Uh, I need um, endstone. Give me endstone, endstone, endstone. Boop. 
I just thought of an idea. We're going to make a back room for uh, Griselda the Witch. And this is going to be a back room for her potions, actually. She shouldn't be making potions in front of people because then they'll learn the recipe. That's not how it should go. It should have a wall in between it, kind of like some restaurants do, like kitchen-wise. You know, they have a wall in between the kitchen and the register. So that's what they should have. They should have a wall right here, and she should um, be able to have a back room, kind of. Not. I'm imagining, like, I'm imagining, like, a dark room where you make, you, like, put your photos, your old-fashioned photos from, like, the early 2000s into, like, red water in the dark and, like, develop them. That's what I'm imagining. Um, for real, bro, why do we, I just realized, why did we do that in high school? <laughs> cameras don't, do, don't need that anymore. <laughs> that's for old-fashioned cameras, right? I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, look, you can even see it at the store. That's cool. At, her store continues all the way back here, too. But I'm imagining, like, a dark room style, like, potion brewing room for Griselda. So when somebody orders, like, can I get, like, three speed potions for 16 seconds and one, um, uh, darkness or uh, blindness potion for five minutes? Like, she's like, okay, I didn't make it. <laughs> I'm imagining, like, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I'm imagining that, bro. No, I'm imagining <laughs> She's like, okay, I'll make it. <laughs> and goes back into the back room and starts, like, brewing potions and shit like crazy. She just throws in, like, I imagine, like, ten brewers. Ten brewing stands, probably. Or however many I'll put in this small room. Actually, I was going to tear down this wall right here, but this is actually perfect. This will be the back room. So this area right here will be the storage. And then this, where I'm going to build right now, will be the room where we'll actually have the potion brewing stands, whatever. And that's where she'll have all her supplies for that. And that's where she'll brew her little drugs. <laughs> her breaking bad drugs. <laughs> her style does breaking bad. Alright. Because she's just a badass fucking bitch. <laughs> Alright. Continue doing the ceiling. Okay. This is actually turning out to be a really cool build. Like, I think I like this store the most down here. More than the club and the cup. The club took a lot of effort. Because I made it so that the lights on the dance floor actually flash. But I don't have them on because it'll like lag my video and it'll lag my game in general when I'm off camera. And it's just a mess. I just can't do Redstone with the city anymore since the city is like literally 2 gigabytes. I think it's like 2.1 now. <laughs> with all these damn developments, it's literally a lot. And Minecraft's only, I think Minecraft only takes like 400 megabytes <laughs> on uh, an Xbox, I think. So if you're making your world 2 gigabytes, what the fuck? I don't think that should happen ever. Most people can't even build this much to a world. They're like, Okay, I'm done. Delete. I'm like, what a waste. You just wasted your life. <laughs> I'm not wasting it. I'm gonna sell this map. It's like, no, I think I'll put it up for download for like Xbox One or something. Or by the time the Xbox Two comes out, like, what? <laughs> Alright, so go do this. If Minecraft's not dead by then, right? Alright, and then do the andesite ceiling, and then, okay, I'm imagining like a really crowded room and there's like equipment every fucking where. But I think we're gonna have to do that off camera because we have. We're kind of running out of time, so... Oh, shoot, I forgot this ball, damn it. Ugh. See, I'm not even focusing. I'm, like, so carried away in OCD with... Or not OCD, I'm in ADD with all these damn projects. I love these projects. They're fun. Oh, you know what? Let's actually... Hmm, let's actually make this back wall uh, granite polished. So that way it's a difference in texture. It's just a building thing, you know? Make a difference so it doesn't look all the same. Fucking looks like brains for a wall. <laughs> Anyways, this is her, um store that's pretty freaking awesome anyways guys i'll see you in the next episode we're gonna do a shop another shop of some sort um leave a like if you enjoyed this episode subscribe today if you haven't um i'll see you in the next thing that i create and so goodbye leads goodbye